Alrighty, um, welcome back to my Let's Play of Beasto Recipe 1. I've got a bit of an odd treat for you today, since I accidentally figured out how to do trades between the games, between the two uh, versions here. So, yeah, I got um, uh, TGB Duel open here, and I got them both set up, and let's get started. I kind of wish these controls were less of a pain in the ass. And, oh, I guess I should show you that. Uh, this is the menu you get when you open up the game, obviously. And um, the one down here is the one that we want. And this is apparently for trading. Didn't know this until today. So, yeah, I'm going to do some trading and maybe some battling. Actually, I think I'll show you some battling in first. Anyway, uh, the one at the top here, the one that we're on already, is for battling. And I think we're going to battle. And they're checking to see if there's a connection. And you see me versus the shadow me. Yeah. And anyway, you get to pick your foodons. Uh, obviously, my Beast of Recipe 2 game here has an advantage because it's <laughs> at least 30 levels higher at all points, but eh, whatever. Or, I guess not at all points, some of those, eh, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna go with Omelet for my uh, Game 1 monster here. And then I gotta wait for the, the other player to pick, so that's me, since I'm playing both ends. Uh, yeah, I'll go with my starter here, too, just for the hell of it. It's a battle of titans. I'll ask if you want to pick them out, and yep. And fight! It'll be a battle of the ages. Anyway. Obviously, I get to pick first. <laughs> That's kind of a given. Playing both sides. And each player gets, a t gets to pick their move. Yeah. Go omelet. <laughs> you don't have a hope in hell, but go ahead and attack him. <laughs> and as you can see, <laughs> that kind of level advantage really makes a difference. But I'm gonna attack anyway, just the hell of it. Because I'm just demoing this. I don't really need to beat myself now, do I? Anyway. Attack. of a sad spectacle. Oh, well, uh, and in case you haven't played uh, Beast of Recipe 2, uh, the one I'm using to win here is uh, Boulder Broth. He's the starter. Anyway, and it brings you back to the start screen. You have to click the button for the other one, too. And, um, I guess I'll show you how to trade now. And it allows you to trade. And you can pick from any food ons you have. Uh, I don't think there's any limitations. I should find that out, actually. Because if it's possible... You know, I think I'm going to trade... Um, uh, because uh, Beast of Recipe 2 doesn't have very many good Dunbury types. I give uh, Dunbury for this side. And for the other, I will be... I think I'm actually going to trade a Legendary over, because I want to see what this will do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the uh, only Donbury you can get in the game, but uh, that's not what I'm after right now. Um, where are you, my Legendary Warrior? Oh. This guy here is Fruit Turtle. If you watch the show, you probably recognize him. Um, yeah, I think Fruit Turtle might do. Uh, a legendary vegetable type. Well, let's see if we can trade legendaries. I've never, tr I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm gonna find out. And he's asking, yes, you want to trade? And here's the trade screen. You both have to agree a couple more times, and it kind of looks like the Pokemon trade screen, doesn't it? <laughs> and voila! We each now have um, our various foodons and. I'm going to get out of here now. And that way I can show you that it works. 
Oh, it doesn't show up under recipes. Well, that's uh, something you should keep in mind. Uh, when you trade the for the monsters, you get the monster, but you don't get the recipe. So, yeah. As you can see, now I've got Fruit Turtle available and got got all his stats up there, and so the trade went through. And um, actually, I think I'm even going to show you Fruit Turtle here. I'll put this guy in here. And I'll withdraw Fruit Turtle. Should be near the end. Ah, here we go. See, here's the only downside uh, to trading in a Beastro recipe. Uh, when you trade over Foodons, they don't want to like allow you to get a super advantage, so it automatically gets lowered to uh, level one when you trade over. So, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks, but, on the other hand, it is a legendary food on, so it's pretty strong. <laughs> it's a uh, five-star, f- I mean, not a five-star food on. Yeah, five-star food on. They're basically the legendaries of the game. And they got really, really good stats, and, um, yeah. And supposedly they don't have a type advantage, despite the fact that they have types. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but whatever. Anyway... Um, I guess that's it for today. I just wanted to show you this feature I found. Um, with any luck, in the next little while, I should be able to show you three uh, three foodons that uh, aren't even on my uh, uh, sprite sheet because I found them while screwing around with Tom Lester. So hopefully, I'll be able to show you that with the next video if I ever get around to it. This is Demon Lemon signing out. Is that the